Hi, today we are going to discuss a very important chapter or we can say a good topic in CMA and CPA, US CMA and CPA. Inventory or the stock valuation. What is the meaning of inventory? The goods available in a business for the purpose of selling. That is known as inventory. Normally an organization will purchase different types of goods for their production purposes. This inventory will be used for the production and some inventory will be balanced at the end of the period that we can call as closing stock also. That. So our problem is how to value the inventory. Sometimes whenever you are purchasing in the inventory, its value will be less than the cost. At that time, how you can do the inventory valuation? In order to value the inventory, there is a different methods are there that we studied in different classes. First in first out method is there. Last in first out method is there. And the average method, weighted average method is there. But uh, actually the LIFO is not permitted by IFRS. IFRS already restricted for the LIFO method. But we are valuing inventory. It's a cost will be normally we are seeing sometimes the cost will be reduced. At that time, we have to do one method. That method is known as lower of cost or market method. In other ways, we can call as LCM method. Under LCM method, when a company is applying LCM method, normally this LCM method is applying when the utility of the goods is no longer as great. The utility of the goods is no longer as great at their cost. So, in that situation, this is accomplished by we have to follow the NRV appropriate method. We have to follow a method that is known as NRV method. The purpose of reducing inventory, we know that it will be a probable loss to the company. So in order to value the inventory, the value will be decreased at that time. We have to find out the two principles. One is the conservatism principle and the second one is the matching principle. So in order to coincide with the matching principle and the conservatism principle, we have to do an inventory valuation under which method lower of cost or market method. This is applied by all the organizations across the world. So how you will find out the lower of cost method? In order to find out the valuation under lower of cost method, we have to study different points. What will be the ceiling price? What will be the floor price? How you will value the inventory? Which value will be considered? These points should be taken into consideration. Whenever inventory valuation is happened, we know that the cost will be reduced from the real value. In such a situation, how the loss will be recognized in the current period? GAP says that write down of inventory usually reflected in the cost of goods sold. Write down of inventory is usually reflected in the cost of goods sold unless the amount is material. If any write down happened in the material, that means the goods, it should be adjusted in the cost of goods sold. Unless the amount is material, if the amount is immaterial, we can directly charge it to cost of goods sold. Otherwise, you have to write off cost of goods sold, finished goods, a work in progress, ever, everywhere you have to write off. In which the loss should be identified separately in the income statement. It should be how much will be the loss of inventory. You have to identify separately in the income statement. But the reversal of inventory, once you write down the inventory value, the reversal sometimes it will be happened. Reversal of inventory is possible or not? As per GAAP, reversal is prohibited. Under US GAAP, reversal of inventory is prohibited. That means not allowed. But in the case of IFRS, allows reversal of inventory. But some conditions will be there, limited to the amount of original, whatever you write down in the previously, it can be reinstated will be possible based on the inventory valuation. So GAAP says that write down of inventory should be prohibited, but IFRS says that it allows reversal, but limited to the amount you reversed that only you can adjust from the cost of goods sold anywhere. So these are the two important points, reversal of inventory, whatever the GAAP is saying and whatever the IFRS is saying. Next we have to discuss where the LCM method will not apply if 
all organizations or all stock valuations we can apply lca method or not that we have to discuss number 1 subsequent sale price of the product is not affected by its market value if one products sale price is not affected by its market value if you are selling on product it's a sale price never affected in the market value that organizations or that product no need to apply lcm method lower of cost or market method cannot be applied if the sale price of a product is not affected by its market value the company has a firm sale price contract sometimes some companies are engaged a contract with some another company the goods will be valued at this cost these two categories of sections are not applied by lcm under two circumstances we cannot apply lcm method one is the market value some products market value is not affected it's a sale price number two some organizations have a contract with that organizations to supply the product will be on that value only in such two circumstances we cannot apply lcm method here we have to need a comparison of understanding what is the point point of view from ifrs and what is the point of view from gap under gap says that inventory method lcm can be used except fifo the lcm is used to all inventory that is not costed using fifo method if an organization is using fifo method means the material comes first will be issued for the production first so except that method you can follow this lcm method but ifrs says that value all inventories you can which method lcm method so two important points in relation to gap and ifrs is saying gap says lcm is used all methods but only fifo we cannot apply that one second one ifrs we can value all inventory in lcm method in order to value the inventory we have to understand certain terms in order to find out what will be the lower of cost or market value first term is known as nrv nrv means net realizable value how you can find out nrv nrv is equal to net selling price net selling price means sales minus any sales return if any net selling price minus cost to complete and dispose of the inventory in order to complete the product any additional cost you are incurred that you can minus this value is known as nrv nrv is equal to net selling price minus cost to completion or any disposal charges are available or not so this we can call as ceiling price this is the ceiling price number 2 what do you mean by a market value market value simply we can say it is the current replacement cost of an inventory current replacement cost means in order to replace the inventory what will be the cost for example by the purchase or the production of that particular inventory how much cost you are incurring that is known as the market value of the product it is we can call as what will be the replacement cost of the product first point is nrv net selling price minus cost to complete or any disposal charges are there you can adjust then you will get nrv this nrv is known as the maximum price or it is the ceiling price beyond this price we cannot quote at the inventory number 2 the market value we can call as the current replacement cost of an inventory replacement may be by production or by the purchase of an inventory the replacement will be happen and the current replacement cost does not exceed nrv 
current replacement cost if you want to replace the inventory the replacement cost does not exceed the market ceiling this is the ceiling price and or never fall below nrv minus normal profit two important points are there nrv minus normal profit this is known as floor value from here you have to understand the two important points one is the ceiling price and the second one is the floor value ceiling means this is the ceiling of the inventory value floor means below the floor value we cannot show in the books of account in the inventory value so these two points are very important which one is the ceiling price and which one is the floor price so first we can find out nrv now you understand how to calculate the nrv value that is selling price of the inventory minus any cost to complete or disposal is there you can adjust that one number two the what do you want what do you mean by replacement cost replacement cost means in order to replace the inventory what will be the cost by purchase or the production of an inventory but one of the most important point lcm lower of cost or market price does not exceed nrv does not exceed the ceiling price or below the floor value does not exceed the ceiling price or below the floor value how you will find out floor value floor value means nrv minus normal profit what is the normal profit of the organization so based on these three points you can easily find out what is the lcm lower of cost or market value of the inventory will be how much you can easily find out you have to do two important points only what is the ceiling price of the inventory what is the floor value of the inventory what do you mean by ceiling price of an inventory ceiling of an inventory means the selling price minus cost to complete minus any disposal charges there you can adjust that one you will get nrv number two what will be the replacement cost in order to purchase or in order to produce an inventory what will be the cost that is known as what the replacement the current replacement cost of an inventory current replacement cost of an inventory does not exceed the ceiling price and does not below the floor value ceiling price what is ceiling price ceiling price is known as nrv what will be the floor value floor value is known as nrv you already find out that one nrv minus normal profit so while comparing these two points you can easily find out what will be the correct value of the inventory under lcm method this is a core point or a very important point in the stock valuation methods this inventory valuation or the lcm method we can understand with a good example here on example you can see the cost of the product is 20.50 replacement cost of our inventory is 19 dollar selling price of the product is 25 dollar cost to completion is 1 dollar normal profit charged is 6 dollar from this information what is the lower or lower of cost or market value you can find out we already informed that we have to find out the ceiling value and the floor value floor value is the minimum value the replacement cost of an inventory does not exceed the ceiling and does not below the minimum this is the two important points while doing these type of problems number one is we have to find out the ceiling value of the product and number two we have to find out the minimum or the floor value of the product look here firstly we can find out the nrv nrv is equal to what is the formula for nrv nrv is equal to net selling price minus cost to complete or any expenses in relation to disposal here what is the selling price of the product 25 already right 25 here minus 1 they are given in the question cost to completion is equal to 1 therefore here we understand that nrv is equal to 24 then immediately we are going to find out what is the floor value of that particular inventory floor value is equal to nrv minus normal profit nrv you already find out the nrv 24 normal profit they are given 6 therefore 18 is the 
in floor value of the product ceiling value of the product is 24 and floor value of the product is 18 our important point is the replacement cost of an inventory does not exceed this one and it does not below this price therefore we can say the replacement cost as per this below is 19 this is falling between the ceiling and the floor value therefore we can say that net realizable value and the market value of the product lcm method d is equal to 19 so we can say 19 is the stock value of under lcm method and it is lower than the cost 20.50 also look the cost of the the cost of the inventory is 20.50 here the replacement cost of an inventory does not increase the uh, ceiling value and not below the minimum value of 18 so the lcm value or lcm of this inventory is coming 19 so we reached a conclusion that the replacement cost is falling between the maximum and the minimum between the maximum and the minimum therefore the market price is 90 we know that it is lower than the cost of the product therefore as per this example the lcm lower of cost value of the inventory is 90 so clearly understand this example in order to find out the inventory valuation under lcm method two important points to be noted is ceiling value ceiling value is otherwise we can call as what nrv second one is the floor value we can call as nrv minus normal profit if we know these two points we can easily find out the lcm lower of cost or market value of the product here in this example we understand 19 or the current replacement cost of the inventory current replacement cost of the inventory is falling between the maximum value and the minimum value of the product so lcm method stock will be 19 thank you